I'm gonna try to never, uh, never look at this video. I'm just gonna try to, like, I've heard people do that. They will just not ever watch themselves on TV. Uh -huh. So they don't really care that they were on TV because they never watched it. Hi, my name is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I have Chris with me today and Hello. <laughs> he's my wonderful and very supportive boyfriend. <laughs> Hi there everyone. And today we're going to be doing the Never Have I Ever Planty Challenge that was created by a girl with a garden. Also, I want to thank Taylor Firestone for tagging me in this challenge. His channel is honestly a joy to watch. He's super hilarious and is so awesome on camera. So if you haven't checked him out, please go ahead and do so. So basically how this works is if I have done these things, I go ahead and sip a little bit of my wine and <laughs> to make things more interesting, before this video, I had a full bottle of wine and now the rest of it is in my glass. So I have drank a significant amount. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't that, was that in another video that you drank that? Yeah, so I recorded another video before this that I did, that I did start <laughs> drinking the wine. So, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure which video is coming out first. But, no. <laughs> so maybe you've already seen that video. Yep. It's hot. It is, it's already hot for me and I didn't drink anything, so. <laughs> So Chris will be drinking water if he has done these things, mostly because he doesn't drink, so I will not be holding him to that. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. But I'm glad I have water because it is very hot in here, <laughs> so. And I don't typically drink more socially, but I feel like it's good for videos sometimes, like, loosens I Loosens you up a little bit. Yeah, loosens me up. Yeah. <laughs> You're, uh... You hold it, you hold it back so well that you're, it's not obvious at all that you've had some to drink. I don't think it's obvious that I have drank. I feel like I'm pretty like calm, cool, and collected. Yes. You know? Yep. Like, I didn't just drink sure. a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, and before we get started, I do want to nominate someone to do this challenge. So I would like to nominate here, but not. And specifically, I'm nominating him because we agree on a lot of things in terms of aeroid care. We're very similar on our stances of humidity and that it doesn't need to be high all the time. So if you could check out his video, Big Philodendron Leaves and Unconditional Thoughts on Air... Un <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't had anything to drink at all. Shut up! <laughs> all right. Big Philodendron Leaves and Unconventional Thoughts on Aeroid Care. Good video. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed that one. <laughs> I almost took a sip of wine, but I didn't answer anything yet. No, you've got. You've already had enough wine. Now you gotta. Yeah, you gotta finish I'm it off. saving this glass for yes. the video because. You don't want to finish the next bottle. Yeah, I'm not opening up another bottle. Like cranking them is too much effort for me. So. <laughs> so much effort. And I always manage to get like the cork in the wine, like a little bit of it. So I have to like pick out the little pieces of cork, and it's just like. That doesn't sound. Good. I don't want to swallow cork, so I don't know. Nope. And also, we'd like to nominate Apartment Botanist to do this Never Have I Ever Planty Challenge. So don't feel obligated to do this video, but I think it'd be really awesome to see like what you both say. So I think it'd be a fun video. Yeah, it'd be great to see. <laughs> All right, first question. Never have I ever killed a cactus? Boom! I don't own any cactuses. What about you? I have never owned a cactus either. Yeah. Um, can't kill what you don't have. That's true. <laughs> I know there was uh, there was some um, controversy over whether or not a succulent counts as a cactus. Yeah. We looked it up and we decided that it is that a, a cactus is a succulent, but a succulent is not necessarily a cactus. Yep. Are you trying to bribe a cat? Where are you gonna put that? Oh, it's gonna break into pieces. <laughs> Nobody goes. Lulu's like, what is this course crap? Nico, right? Lulu's already around. No, but you can throw it down and then they'll like randomly. Especially right. Lulu. Now we got one cat in frame. We may proceed. Never have Why I ever. I have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground of a plant nursery. We've talked about it a lot. We never seriously do it. We have, we've thoroughly made fun, well not made fun, we've not been very happy with people that we've seen doing it, so. Yeah, it's like, he's always said jokingly to do that at like Longwood Gardens, like the botanical gardens we go to. Yep. But I've always been so violently against that because you just can't do that. Like it's something I'm really strongly against. Not at a plant nursery, not a botanic garden. I don't care, like anywhere. Like you don't touch anyone else's plants, especially when they're not yours and you don't take cuttings when they haven't been given to you. Right. And we've seen people do that at Longwood and not been very happy with them at all, so. Have we seen them yet? Yeah, there was that one guy. He was crawling around just breaking things off. Oh God, I don't remember him. Oh yeah. Never. What? <laughs> Your lips is tricky. I'm thirsty. <laughs> All right, never have I ever spent more than $100 on a plant. Well, I've bought somebody a plant for more than $100. You should just drink that whole bottle or the whole cup. <laughs> I drink cup. too much. Yeah. Um, you did not drink too much for that question. You drank less than enough for that question. <laughs> if you know my channel, I, majority of my collection is probably in theoriums. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like lucky if you find it in theorem for under a hundred dollars, especially like the only time you're pretty much not is if it's really tiny or an import plant. So yeah, there's no way like hundred dollars in the like rare plant collector community isn't, doesn't really unfortunately amount to like a, a great deal, like, no. I don't know. That like, obviously that would be like a lot to like people who don't collect rare plants, but if you're really committed to the collector kind of mentality for like really rare things, like, man, I hope something's just a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if it's 150, that's a good day, so. Yeah, it uh, sucks. <laughs> Yeah, the price doesn't entice me to a plant because honestly, if these were like $10 plants, I would buy them like in a heartbeat too. But it's just like, if you want the type of plant, like unfortunately the price is just really high for them right now. So. Yeah, and you're more attracted to the really rare stuff and that's obviously not gonna be cheap because it's rare. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah, I like my Ethereum hybrids. <laughs> That you do. Uh, all I have to say is like, Javenini, then. Oh yeah. You know that I spent more than. I know, he's like your, um, like your designer, <laughs> you know, purse person for some girls. That's just like, that's your guy. <laughs> he's my designer plant guy. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever bought a plant just because it was trendy on Instagram. I wouldn't know if you did, but. So if I see a plant that's trendy on Instagram, honestly, like, I'm more against getting it just because I'm like, I don't like following fads personally. So it took me a long time to even consider buying a variegated Monstera or a Fildren, Fildren, <laughs> Philodendron Pink Princess. And I almost like had to, like over time after like seeing them and like looking more into them, like I really grew to like appreciate and like them more. And then when I saw them in person, I immediately love them, so I get the hype of them, but it wasn't the reason I bought those plants. Like, I don't buy a plant just because it's trendy, so. So what was the first um, Anthurium that you got? So the first one was Anthurium clarinervium. Was that the one that you accidentally got? Yeah, so, right. yeah, so even like, <laughs> an Anthurium, like Anthurium clarinervium, that's really trendy. I think it's like one of the most, one of the more popular Anthuriums you can get. Um, it's something that was sent to me by accident. It was my first Anthurium. Mm -hmm. I had bought a variegated ZZ plant and the seller sent me an Anthurium Clarinervium. And, and honestly, you loved that. Yeah. But you, you didn't seem like you were interested in those at all until you accidentally got one. Yeah. I knew like, so at that time I wasn't collecting like non-toxic plants except because of my cats, except for ZZ plants because I can keep them on my kitchen countertops. So I always told myself I couldn't collect Anthuriums. Yep. But when that Clarinervium came to me, it was like my soul like was looking at me. Like, I don't know, like it glowed. Yeah, you just found love. It was that. love. It was so much love. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're like, 
if you're thinking about a clarinervium, I'm going to tell you right now, like, I got a baby one and I fell in love. No matter what size you get, you're going to fall in love with it. It's a beautiful plant. Agreed. Uh, uh, never have I ever met another uh, plant tuber. Yeah. So, with that we did. We have. Drink up. <laughs> Okay. We met a few. Yeah, we did meet a few. Yep. So we met um, Jimmy of Legends of Monstera. Yep. And awesome we met. Guy. Yeah, he was really cool. He was. We we talked to him for a long time. He's really cool. We did. Cool. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we met Kaylee Ellen. So that was yep. really cool. She's I also didn't... very nice. I yeah. feel like she's like the most like celebrity because even I don't watch plant YouTube a lot, but her channel just seems like the most like could really be on TV. Yeah. So, like, meeting her was like meeting an actual celebrity. <laughs> I know. It was crazy. Like, I, she was definitely, like, the first plant YouTuber I ever watched. And I just completely love with, like, I fell in love with her aesthetic. Like, her camera work was so good. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I just, I still, like, I feel like people don't compare to her, like, because her quality is just so great. Like, I love a lot of other plant YouTubers, but I feel like, I don't know, like, I'm definitely a huge fan. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, she's cool. And I didn't think we'd ever meet her because she's from the UK, but she came to the International Air Raid Show in Florida, so that was awesome. Yeah. That was good to meet her. Yeah. Who else did we meet? <clears throat> we met Summer Rain Oaks there. Oh, yeah. No, we met her in Philly first. Yeah. So we've seen Summer Rain twice because we went to her book signing, and then she was also at the Air Raid mm -hmm. Show. Yeah, she's a really nice person as well. Yeah. <laughs> and um, apartment botanist. She oh, yeah. did start a channel, so she counts. Yeah, she does count. So we did meet Apartment Botanist at the International Air Raid Show. And you should definitely check out her channel. She has one video up so far, and it's her, like, guessing, like, what plant she's touching. It's such a fun video, it and is. I think her channel is going to do so well. So I'm excited to see what other content she puts out, because honestly, she's just a joy to watch. Like, all her Instagram stories are just so fun. So Yeah, she's a real... Uh nice like genuine person too yeah She's, i love her who knows my laugh is always really loud when i drink i hate that I'm yeah. like, oh. it's a joy oh. i'm not <laughs> putting that in <laughs> oh. never have i ever neglected a plant and purposely let it die a slow death drink up you should too i haven't really your peach tree that was an intentional I don't think it's ever really intentional. No, it's intentional for you. Okay. So this is something that I don't do anymore. The reason why I don't do this anymore is because I feel like so many people want house plants that I could really just turn around and sell a plant if I didn't want it. But back in the day, uh, I definitely, whenever I got, like whenever I lost interest or got frustrated in a plant, I definitely let it die <laughs> and I feel really bad about that but honestly like I feel like everyone's done that so yeah yeah mine wasn't really that it was just that I don't have like a whole setup and it's not easy for me to just put a plant next to a window or something because I don't have anything next to windows yeah at my house so yeah, he tried to grow a live tree inside his house, a peach tree. Yeah, that didn't so work out. that wasn't gonna really work out. <laughs> no. So it's a thought that counts. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably uh, too much there. Yeah. I do grow things at work though, and that that goes over pretty well. Yeah. Your work plants. My work plants. Would you like to tell them what kind of plants you have? Oh, they're just money trees. They're nothing crazy. He loves his money trees. I do love my money trees. They are beautiful. Like he's really good at growing his money trees. Oh, thank you. Never have I ever purchased a plant and then later regretted buying it. And what plant was it? Apparently they just assumed that that's going to be a yes. Right? There's like, like yeah. right. Secondary question. Uh -huh. Have I ever? I guess the beach tree because I felt bad that it died. No, like immediately regretted buying it. So oh. ah, I've definitely done this. So I don't know. Like... There's been times I really like a plant, like in a store or online, and then when it arrives in person, it's just like, I don't love it as much as I thought I would, and yeah, it just doesn't fare well, like. Is it because you just don't, like, the plant doesn't look like you thought it would, or because it arrived in bad condition? I don't know, like, I like to connect with my plants, like, I like to look at my plants and really feel like I love them. Like, I don't believe in collecting things that you don't love, so like, I want to be surrounded by just things I love. 
So if I'm just surrounded by plants and I'm like, uh, I kind of like this plant, I feel like that's not gonna make you feel good. So sometimes I get plants and it's just like, okay, this plant is just, eh. Like, I think I felt that way about like the philodendron orange marmalade. And God, I sold that plant and then someone gifted it to me for free. So I had it again. And then <laughs> <laughs> Why did they gift it to you for free? What I, was that? I ordered a variegated bilati and it's an expensive plant. So they sent mm -hmm. me a free plant and it just happened to be that freaking plant right and god it's a pretty plant it's just not for me like it's similar to you you don't like those like orange and yellow tones like i like the monstera aurea but i just don't really i'm not a big fan of like orange plants i don't know only in like minimal amounts <laughs> yeah yeah it's just not what i thought it was gonna be man that one that got to me twice though that was that's funny that was rough because i'm just like please leave my life what did you do with the second one? Oh. We're not back putting... to question six <laughs> We're not putting that in the video. <laughs> now i put it in the greenhouse and i think his soil is too dense the philodendrons didn't do good without yeah. airy soil so. if only you knew like an expert on airy soil that you could have consulted the yeah. smart remarks. The smart remarks. Never have I ever bargained with a plant seller on the sale of a plant. And uh, we we do that because I wasn't quite ready, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Did I drink for that last one? What I said about if I ever regretted a plant? I can't remember. I guess I I'm, don't remember. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> oh. Never have I ever bargained with a plant seller on the sale of a plant. So I've never like purposely done this. I one time was buying some anthuriums and I was like, oh, you know what? Like, I just don't want to pay that amount. It's just too expensive. Like, but you told the person that? Yeah, I told him I was just like, not gonna buy the plant. Like I wasn't bargaining with him. And he's just like, oh, make me a deal. That's weird. Was he from here? Oh, wait, no, he, <laughs> wait, make me a deal. And I'm like, what? A lot of know. people will view that as bargaining, though, because yeah. why would you tell them that you would even think about buying it and then just be like, well, the price is the problem. Yeah. Because as I'm soon always as you... inquiring, though. So, like, to me, like, it's like... I guess that... Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't guess know. that makes sense. You don't really want them to come down, but... Yeah. But they do. So, I don't know. It was just weird because I was just like... Well, now I feel like I have to buy this plant <laughs> because he's trying to like lower the price. But you could still back down. I mean, it's like yeah. if you were like looking at a car yeah. and they're like, oh, it's $100,000. You're like, nah, it's too much. Well, how about yeah. 90000 Yeah, it's still not going to do it. But other than that, like normally I'm not going to bargain with someone on the sale of a plant because I feel like the plant market is like really good right now for sellers. And it's not really fair for me to like question what price they're selling. If it was absurd, yeah. But like... Most of the time, like, it's usually within the market amount. So I'm not going to go be like, hey, this is too expensive. Like, if I thought that, I could just go to another seller and ask them for that plant. Like, you don't have to hackle with the seller. Just move on. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. I just I feel it's kind of rude. Like, if, like... I don't think it's... It's not rude. Mm. But a lot of the... It looks to me like on like Instagram or yeah. or whatever, it's usually like you throw it out there and somebody wants to buy it at that price. I know. So really there isn't any room for haggling in that point. In that yeah. Position. It's usually like buy right away or it's <clears throat> gone. So right. in that case, like there's really no room. <laughs> that was the guy that asked me why I was going for so, amount, so much. And he's like, he's just the collector. He's wondering why. Aw. Poor thing. <laughs> See, I view that, ironically, as even kind of heckling. Like, he's kind of throwing a little bit of, you know, I don't know, right yeah. the right price. It sounds cute, though. So, like, I just got a message <clears throat> on eBay. We're selling one plant right now. And he wanted to know, like, why it was going for so much money because it's being bid on right now. And I told him, like, you know, the reasons for it. And he was just wondering why all these philodendrons kept popping up that were a lot of money. <laughs> right. So. But then he says that... We just say that they cost a ton of money. So yeah, he's not really asking for it. So yeah, he's not like, asking for a discount. He's just kind of wondering like what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that makes sense. He's probably like, yeah. And eBay's like, you like plants? Here's expensive plants. Yeah. He's probably like, what is happening? Why is this a mortgage payment? <laughs> yeah. Like, 
Never have I ever killed a rare plant. Drink up. <laughs> How do you know if I've killed a rare plant? Oh, I know you've killed a rare plant. Who? No name, no, no, uh, no body, no deal. Didn't happen. I'll have to go look for it, but... It wouldn't be here. <laughs> you don't... So, I did kill a variegated stenobellum... Sten... I can't talk. Okay. It's a tricky. I did kill a thematophyllum stenobellum variegated... I don't think I'm saying that right. I think it's my drunk tongue or my my tipsy tongue. Maybe. I can't get the word out right now. Well, I can't Stenlo help you Stenlo All right. Stenlo Stenlo Fine. I'm going to put the name <laughs> at the bottom here. And that was mostly due to the fact that it had a little stem when I got it. And it like pretty much rotted as soon as I got it. So I couldn't really do much. It sucked so much. Talking. <laughs> that's not a good one. I can't say that on the video. No, you can't. <laughs> but that, that sucked, yeah. That was painful. Never have I ever drove over an hour to shop and visit a plant nursery. And we definitely have done that. Mm -hmm. So we drove to Homestead Gardens in Maryland. That's a really nice one. That's a really nice one. We did yeah. a video. Well, you did a video of that, right? Yeah. I think my hand was in it or something. Honestly, even our like local nursery is like probably 45 minutes away. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Nothing is super close like, yeah. except for the big box stores. Yeah. And they're not, they're nothing. <laughs> but um, what else did we do? We went to New York. Did we, no we didn't. Well, right outside of New York. It's not fun to just talk about the like the closest place that we've driven that's an hour. Where, so, did we go to a plant shop in New York? Yeah, it was a, um, it was like, um, like a farmer's market, like an Amishy place. Um, that was in New Jersey. That was for the orchid. But show. it's right outside of New York. It still counts as New That's York. That's not New York. Okay. Anyways, it's close. <laughs> I was thinking it's when we went to that museum. Right, but did we go to? We didn't go to a plant shop. No, we went to the comic book shop. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Um, what else did we do? <laughs> that was it. We went to Florida. And that wasn't driving, but that was flying. That's where we met everybody. That's true. Did you? What? Is it the <laughs> what? <laughs> no it memory says at drove. All. It says That's drove. That's true. That's true. So Florida doesn't count. We can't drive to Florida. I mean, we can, but that's a big chunk of my life. <laughs> so if you count the hurt. driving to <laughs> Philly to fly, and then the driving from the hotel to the plant place, that's over an hour. Dang! <laughs> You're trying to make up stuff. Never have I ever bought a plant that was so large it could barely fit in our car. That we definitely did. That we was just awesome. literally did that two days ago. Like we bought, yeah. oh, da 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 da. You all right? Yep, my brain was dying. Oh. We bought an Epipremnum Orium Pearls and Jade. I was trying to think of that. Um. <laughs> So with this plant, it was one we just found at our local nursery. We actually just like went out to get out for a little bit. We were safe though. We and, got masks and all. Yeah. <laughs> and we found this plant and I've never seen a pearls and jade with leaves so big. So that was like really cool. And I was really excited to see that because I've seen pothos, like other pothos leaves get big, but not like the, the pearls and jade or the enjoy variety. So that was really cool to see. And then we also have our big dude over here. Yep. Our Monstera. Monstera. <laughs> our it? Monstera Deliciosa. He's huge. He's huge. Like, both these plants we had trouble fitting in the car. Like, that I don't, one. I don't even know. That one, where did we get that one? We got that one at an orchid show. Yeah. And But where was that? Was that in Maryland or was that. Yeah, it was it where they do the state fair in Maryland? Probably during winter time. It was February, February. just be just when the pandemic thing was hitting. Because we yeah. kept looking at all the elderly people and we were like, you shouldn't be out here. <laughs> <laughs> when we found that one, I really didn't care to have a Monster Deliciosa, but I knew if I ever did have one, I wanted a big specimen. And I saw him and I was like, whoa, love. Yeah. And had to have him. And he was well, Did you do a video about that? I didn't. You didn't? No. I specifically did. Took footage for that. We're gonna put the footage in this one. How about that? Okay, that's Does that right. work? 
You're gonna I, see it wasn't a lot of footage. So you're going to see some like, Orchid Show footage right now. Yeah, just throwing stuff just out. Play the reel. All right, it's probably over now because it was like three seconds of footage. I'm just kidding. Thank you for taking the footage. I didn't take that much. You're right. I'm sorry. This feels good. I could nap. Never have I ever showered with my plants. I have never showered with a plant. I have never showered with a plant. <laughs> Wait, did I drink one. for the last one? Yeah, if not, you should. All right, I'm going to drink. Yeah. This is for the last one. Yep, and if you had one, you we've done it twice, so. Yeah. Was it not good? Yeah. It gets warm and it's heavy. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, what question was that? Tw that was 12 or 13. Oh, yeah. Okay. So my shower isn't gigantic. It's not a palace. I use soap. So that's just like. I appreciate that. What I'm saying is <laughs> a plant would not appreciate that. So no, I don't shower with my plants. I shower them on occasion. But In not... defense of anybody who has showered with their plants, I'll yeah. bet you that they do use soap also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> yes. They probably just wash the soap off the plant. <laughs> That's true. That's There's true. people out there who answered yes and they're like, but I use soap too. <laughs> Never have I ever went on a plant no buy and it was successful. My brain can't comprehend this question. Your brain doesn't want to comprehend this question. <laughs> Wait. And it was successful? Mm-hmm. Never so, have you ever went on a successful no-buy. So I don't drink. Because no, I you do. <laughs> when did you have a successful no-buy? Isn't that what it's saying? Wait, never have I... <laughs> Man, now you're confusing me. Okay, so never have I gone on a no buy and it was successful. Okay, so, a successful mm. no buy. Right. Okay. And then you drink because that's I, not true. Okay, that's not true. So, in my defense, I'm never really on a no buy. That's but a lie. I'll still drink to that. What did you tell me at the beginning of the winter? Okay. So I always say this, it's like my life's mantra, I'm on a no buy. <laughs> but what I really mean is, if there's a plan I want. This is when you replay that part like five seconds ago and you're like, I've never said I was in a no buy or something similar to that. Okay, I think I have like accepted the fact that I can never really be on a no buy or I'm on a perpetual no buy with the exclusion that I will buy a plant that I want. Yeah. You're like one of those people that's in a relationship, but they have like those people, like they're, um, you know, the people that they're allowed to, to hook up with. Yeah, so what do they like call that? hall pass. A hall pass. I but have hall pass. You have them, all like, the hall passes. Though. Yeah. If there's so, a plant with green leaves, you've got the hall pass for it. Yeah, I don't let a no buy limit me. You make it sound like you're tough. <laughs> <laughs> I need to I, I've got no self control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know what song I just can't get out of my head? What song? So it's been like this for like a month or two, and it's that scrub song. So yeah, I keep calling Chris a scrub. I keep singing the lyrics, and it's almost like on the daily. It is on the daily. <laughs> I just don't know why. Scrub? Like, yeah. I'll just be innocently minding my own business, and I get called a scrub. Because <laughs> I've sung the song in my head, and then I just need to say, yeah. scrub! <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's good that that's the word you've got stuck in your head, not some yeah. other words. All right, are we moving I'm on? I'm forgetting the lyrics now that I've been drinking, though. I wish I could sing it back to you. Darn.
Number. Uh, no scrubs. Scrubs, the guy that can't get no help. <laughs> wow, that was mean. Bob of Fossinger said, no, but it's Rinse Red trying to holler at me. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. You are done. You, okay. you don't need to answer negatively to any more questions. <laughs> I shouldn't have drank so much before the video because now I'm just like, what are these questions <laughs> saying? Oh my gosh. Uh, where am I? Uh, we're at 14, I think. Oh yeah. Never have I ever gotten a plant for free. You have. You've mentioned as much. I have. Already. So I know like sometimes with big plant orders, you like occasionally get a free plant. So I know with my import order from Bogota Pop Plants. He's given me a philodendron for free and that was very nice of him. Yes. But other than that, I don't want any plant gifts. So, I mean, other from you, cause he knows what I want in a plant. But if like anyone else tried to get me a plant, like I already have a lot of plants. So whatever comes in this house is like- You're very particular. I'm particular. There's like exclusiveness that has to happen. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, so I recently did get a P.O. box because we are selling some plants, not of like my personal collection. I mean, some of them might be, but we've been like propagating to sell and- We are trying to make some room too. Yeah, so we got a P.O. box because I don't want no one knowing my address. So feel free to send mail if you would wish, if you wish to, but while I love you, please don't send me any plants unless we talk about it and it's something like, that I am interested in. And like a I'm, wish list. Yeah, like, like a, wish a wish list thing, or like we're swapping, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what she's trying to say is she don't want no scrubs. I don't, don't want no scrubs. Any, <laughs> I don't want no scrub plants. Don't send her any scrub plants. That's yeah. so mean. That That's is mean, I can't character. say that. You can't say that. It's funny, but you really can't. It is funny though. No, I love all plants, I do. But honestly, like, I just have too many plants, and I get like, the idea of having a lot of tiny plants gets me kind of claustrophobic. So I just prefer like a lot of bigger plants, but not like too many. So my collection is something I would like to limit back more, not add two more. So that makes more sense. exclusive in that way. Uh, never have I ever bought a plant as a gift for someone else, but then decided to keep it for myself instead. What All right, you... so no, I haven't ever bought a gift for a plant, like for... <laughs> No, I ever, I haven't ever. You don't really buy plants as. I did yeah. for my mom. I bought her a bunch of orchids. Oh, right. So I did, yeah, I don't usually give people plants because I know how particular I am and I don't want to impose that on anyone else without their permission. But I know my mom loves orchids. So when I went to an orchid show, I did get her like a bunch of orchids that I thought were really cool. And there was a temptation to definitely keep one but I didn't because I was like, you know what? I really want my mom to have all these, like they're just so cool. And I'm glad I did because the one I wanted to keep ended up being her favorite. <laughs> so <good>. yeah. <laughs> You've got me some that are like mine, but oh they're yeah. Really mine. So there are a few plants in the household that I take care of, but are here and are Chris's plants. Like my, my I mean, his Circestus mirabilis, or yeah, mm -hmm. which just grew a new leaf. Yep. Good job. So, <laughs> yeah, that's his plant. Yeah. But yeah, so there's some plants like that throughout the house, but. They're basically so that you can put them in places that I would otherwise tell you is a bad place. <laughs> but then you're like, well, it's your plant. <laughs> and then I have no choice but to agree to that. Yeah. Yeah, like, I can't you gotta shame acknowledge you for it. it. Like, it's your plant. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, but you have beautiful taste in plants, so anybody yeah. would be happy to get a gift of a plant from you. So. Ah, that's true. Yeah, this recessus is popping. You better love it. Why does it gotta come with a thread? I was just nasty. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm I thought I was gonna kill it for the longest time. I found out he's a lot like an Ethereum, though. Nice. Water constantly. If you don't water him, he's like, hey, friend. JK, friend, you're the <laughs> devil. <laughs> I'm just like, dang. He does you really dirty if you don't water him. Plants like to be watered. Yeah. I've never been so shook <laughs> by a plant. <laughs> Until I got a success spirit balance. Because he scares the living crap.
crap out of you when he needs water like really badly. <laughs> but that's good because it's like a built-in, you yeah. know, plantometer. You don't want it to be like I need water. I'm going to dry out and die. Yeah. Like, you but want like, a little bit of a hint. He could droop a little. He doesn't, though. He's, he's just like, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead already. Right. Ugh. Like, he's so dramatic. And it's like, I have to water him, like, every three to four days, like, my Ethereum's. Because if I wait a week, he's already, like, hanging himself. <laughs> Can't do it's this. a mild case of depression. It's really scary. If I have a picture, I will insert it here, but it's horrifying. So That's it's funny. so startling. <laughs> Never have I ever sold a plant online. Okay, so I definitely have. And I feel like in this plant community, it's definitely more common now to sell plants online. So like a lot of people are selling like cuttings of their plants or they're either like importing plants, propagating plants, selling plants, like things like that, creating plant shops. So, I don't know. I feel like everyone's doing it. So, yeah, I've definitely done it. We've done it. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Did you drink for that? No, thank you. Sure. Got you. I don't want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> You're spitting it back out? Because it's... Do you want to put an ice cube in it or something? It's just a... It's 12% alcohol, so... It's double what my normal wine I like is. But I got you're gonna the, be, you're gonna get sick. I got the higher one because I thought it'd be more entertaining. I can smell it now. <laughs> you're gonna be passed out right after this. I know. I'm looking forward to sleep. Never have I ever deleted mean or inappropriate comments from YouTube. So I've never done that in my personal channel, but I have done that on someone else's and only one time, but I thought like what they commented was really mean and I just didn't want the YouTuber to see that comment. So I have nothing against deleting mean comments. If you leave a really mean comment, I will delete it. I've never had that happen on my channel. I've always had like constructive comments where I can see the person's point of view. So if you leave comments like that, that's completely fine. Like I understand everyone has different points of view, but straight mean comments, while I've never received them personally, I will delete them if I ever do get them. So nothing against doing that. Yeah. Um... Generally, I'm against deleting comments, but I, I did delete one comment that I can remember once. Yeah. And again, it was just because it was so unnecessarily mean to the YouTuber. It wasn't had nothing to do with the video. It was just like, I'm going to be mean and yeah. I'm going to say these things just to make somebody feel bad. So Because yeah. honestly, like YouTube comments, like YouTubers usually read their comments unless they have like too many to read even if they don't respond them and if it's something mean they usually like you try not to take it to heart but we're all human and youtube can be like pretty depressing like if you get like a lot of negative comments like it's something that doesn't make you feel good or motivated to keep on doing this so it's just like something you don't want to see and it's their platform their channel if they don't want that negativity like i say like delete it like yeah all right never have I ever bought a plant with the intent of propagating its cuttings for sale. We've definitely done this, but as of recently, so. <laughs> Your drinking is getting to you so bad. Why? I just see you kind of slowing down. I'm slow, okay. <laughs> so on the one hand, sometimes you buy expensive plants and you rationalize it by saying, in the future, when this plant grows up, you're gonna sell a cutting and make that money back you made on the plant because honestly, it's hard to pay a lot of money for these plants and not think that's something you can do oh, yeah. and like rationalize it because like... Because if it's a money-making hobby, yeah. then you can spend more money. Yeah. But if it's just a money pit, yeah. then then you don't want to spend as much. Yeah, so I don't have a problem with like t eventually taking a cutting or two from other plants, selling those because I don't want to be like... Feel like i'm just spending like all this money and not gaining anything in return so yeah like right. you said definitely but also we have straight bought like some plants like that we've imported that we have propagated it's been months now and we do plan on selling those plants and that's just something like more like a plant shop thing so yeah. but also again because it is an expensive hobby to yeah. fund that you know, you want to be, you can't just, you know, keep buying forever and yeah. not have any kind of uh, return for that. Exactly. It's really to like fund my hobby. Like sometimes I like 
buy plants because I know I can make a return in order to spend money on other plants. Like right. it's an expensive hobby and especially the rare, rare plants. Like, And that's the great thing about this hobby too, is mm -hmm. that you can, you know, collect rare plants that, you know, you would never even think about, but then, you know, in a year or two, it's going to be huge and then you can yeah. get some cuttings and, and make some money off of it. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. I feel like everyone, like, you don't have to ever sell cuttings of your plants, but if you ever want to make money on it, like, you can make the money back on that plant by doing that. And I think that's really awesome. I feel like that, like, makes you feel like, oh, it's a worthwhile investment. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm not, like, haphazardly spending money and not getting anything back in return. Aside so. from the beauty of the plant, there's yeah. that for us, oh. but... Yeah, there's some plants, obviously, I'll never touch. Like, I think if I ever bought a Spirit of Sancti, even at the price point, because they're so difficult to propagate, like, I've seen, like, their nodes, like, they're insanely close together. And I don't know if I ever would want to propagate, like, a Spiritus that I owned, like. But then another thing about uh, that is that if you had one and mm -hmm. you propagate it, that's another one that somebody else gets to have. Yeah, exactly. So. That is the beauty of it. Like, you get to share, like your collection. I think that's awesome. Like if we share cuttings with one another, we can all get these plants and there's really a beauty in that. So right. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever went to a big box store, a big box store run and not gone to the garden center. So never have you gone to a big box store for like some building material or something like that and then not made a detour into the plant section is what I'm understanding. Yeah. And we've definitely done that. We've gone to the plant store and avoided the plant section, I think. We've gone Just, to the plant store. <laughs> or not the plant store, a big box store and, and avoided the plant section. Yeah. Uh... I'm really just drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like think about this one because I even think when I wasn't in the house plants, I think I still looked at the plants because I just love. Well, plants. I know I have avoided it, but so, you. But like, I feel like I do it just in case I ever see something like rare. Right. Like, like you occasionally hit the lottery. you hear of a variegated monstera. Like I check the box, big box store in case like, oh, hey, they randomly have one. Like I know they're going to have Thai constellations, I think next year. Like I'll definitely get one of those. <laughs> like, I don't know, but I think it's like worth checking. Usually there's it's crap, but Costa Farms has been producing a lot of stuff. So I think it's like worth checking to see if you have anything cool. So that makes sense. But yeah, <clears throat> I've definitely gone. Oh, uh, I think all of them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> sips are getting smaller and smaller. <sighs> Last question. Last question. Never have I ever met some of my followers in person. And yeah, I definitely have. It was like at the International Air Ride Show back in September. I think like I'd only been doing YouTube since June. So it was like crazy because someone just called me out and I was like, whoa, yeah. like that was that was nuts. Like I feel like I had such a little following them that it was really weird that. Yeah, <laughs> that was amazing. Did that. Yeah, that and was. She has your same name, right? Yeah, like we share the same name. Her name is Elizabeth. Yep. And she was so amazing, so sweet. And she actually picked out my Ethereum Vitara Folium for me. She handed, she was looking at it, asked me if it was a good deal, like what the booth was selling. And I was like, yeah, it's a good price. It was like 40 bucks for Vitara Folium. And she handed it to me and then she just, she said she's gonna take the other one for herself. Yeah. So I think it's special cause like I got to have a plant that one of my followers like picked, picked out, out for me. Yeah. So I That's love awesome. that plant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So nice. So. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised that didn't come out in the tune of I don't want no scrubs. Oh! I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. I'm forgetting the words. <laughs> Why can't I remember that one line between those two? I don't know. <laughs> it should be we'll really easy. It it should be really easy. Are you going to cut all this uh, embarrassing part out? Probably for the most part. I That's might keep good. some of it. All right, that was all 20 questions of this 
never have I ever video. I hope yeah. like, um, you understand, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> you should close it. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope everybody had as much fun as we had filming it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think you're going to go take a nap now. I'm so excited for bed. Yes, you are. I know. Bed and water. Yep. Because if I wake up with the Charlie horse, I swear, I swear, you know you're how I'll wake up screaming. <laughs> I will. I hate. Do you guys ever get Charlie horses? Like, anytime I go to bed dehydrated, it happens. Mm. So... About to like pound a bunch of water. Yeah. Good and luck. don't be a scrub. Don't be a scrub. Don't be a scrub. Scrubs don't get love. <laughs> Why is that the theme of this video? <laughs> I don't know because I can't get it out of my head. Now nobody's gonna get it out of their head. That was scrub that was a scrub That song. definitely was not. <laughs> I think it sounded like the scrub song. Nope. Mm. No, you don't have to worry about uh, YouTube picking that up. Eh. How long have we been doing this? All night. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I really hoped you liked it. If you did, please give it a like. So you can get a bunch of dislikes. For why? I feel like I'm so like... Annoying? Annoying. Yeah, I honestly like if you dislike my video, I understand. Well, yeah, I only dislike it if you don't like it. Yeah. But like it if you do like it. Yeah, and I know who you are. Does it tell you who they are? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, so like, comment below. I'm interested in your feedback, what you thought of this video. If you enjoyed having Chris here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you're into oh <laughs> why <laughs> felt weird people usually say like like share and subscribe i already said comment. like i don't say share you don't i don't say share because i feel like i don't want to choke people with my content like you don't have to share it i'm not holding you to that <clears throat> if you do that'd be cool but you'd be like who is this derpy chick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't share this video as much as the other ones. Yeah, share the other ones. You can share my Ethereum Care video. My that work, one's great. My Warrior Queenum video. That one's awesome. That one, great. I feel like that was good. Yeah. Warrior Queenums are bay. Well, right. thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. We do really appreciate it. We do. That's why I thank you so many times. I really, really want to thank you. Did yes. I look crazy? A little bit. Just a little bit. I felt my eyes go weird. <laughs> All right, I don't want to drink the rest of this. Just don't. Just don't. Like, I've already, like, the whole bottle. I don't think you understand. Just to... Ooh, there, was, there was, like, a few drops in that. That was the most predictable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I honestly thought it was completely empty. But you know what? It makes sense. There's a few drops in the bottom. <clears throat> Got wine on myself. Sorry, oh, no. Harley. You got it all over. My napkin. No, all over your phone. My phone. That's It's alcohol. It cleans your phone. Yeah? Do your phone get to? <laughs> Screw the guy that can't get <laughs>